Williams. I'm here from WyoTech, which is a school for high school graduates who are interested in pursuing careers in the automotive, diesel, motorcycle, marine, and collision repair industries. Okay, so what I'm here to talk to you about today is something that everyone has to think about, and that is, what is your game plan? Here's a little video to show you what I'm talking about. You don't want to live your life like this. Or this. Or this. You need a game plan for success, especially when it comes to life after high school. Hmm. No, you don't want to be like those guys. Everyone needs a game plan for success. So hands up. Who's graduating this year? Cool. Who's, what about next year? Oh, great. It's a pretty exciting time, isn't it? And the closer you get to graduation, the more you're going to be having one question. Yep. What's next? What are your plans for after high school? Anybody here been asked that question before? So, your game plan could involve traditional college, community college, career trade school, military, or maybe just going out and joining the workforce. You know, a lot of high school students wonder what the difference is between traditional college, community college, and a career school. Okay, so you know about University of North Carolina or Duke University right here in the city? Well, those are considered traditional colleges. They offer a wide range of degrees like math, philosophy and chemistry. Students who go there often have to take classes that are unrelated to their specific degree, like a foreign language, to fulfill requirements that have been set up by the school. The class size can be anywhere from 20 to 300 students, and classes usually involve a lot of lecture time and reading, and it usually takes four or more years to get a degree from a traditional college. So as you can see, when it comes to getting the education, you need for a successful career, you have options. But a big question you'll want to think about as you make your education game plan is, what are the growing industries where you could find a job? Because who wants to invest time and money in their education only to discover that there are no jobs in your field? Am I right? So how can you make sure your education prepares you for great jobs in companies that are really looking for people with your skills? Talk to your counselor now and also talk to your career counselor at the college or tech school that you're interested in. Their job, of course, is to help you get a job so they know who's hiring because there really are a lot of industries that are looking to hire. And right now in America, we have what's called a skills gap. There are millions of jobs in growing industries, companies all across the country looking for technically skilled workers. But here's the deal. There are so many older workers retiring, there's just not enough skilled people to replace them or fill new positions. So there's a real opportunity here for young people. Here's what Mike Rowe from the Discovery Channel's Dirty Job Show has to say about the skills gap. Look, I have got nothing bad to say about a college education, really. I have one, I wouldn't trade it for anything. And if you have the, the desire and the money to pay for a four-year degree, I say go for it. But look, we need to stop promoting higher education at the expense of every other form of learning. <laughs> it's just crazy, at least the unintended consequences. And right now we've got a big one. It's called a skills gap. And the skills gap is bad news for anybody who's addicted to uh, paved roads or electricity or indoor plumbing. Welders, plumbers, electricians, Carpenters, steam fitters, pipe fitters, all across the country, there's shortages in these areas, even with unemployment going through the roof. It's crazy. Fifty years ago, those jobs were critical. They still are. The problem is we just don't value them the way we used to. So we don't encourage people to pursue them. We're so focused on getting into the corner office, we forgot how to build a corner office. Does anyone in the room know what kind of career they'd like to get into right now? Well, if you don't, don't worry. Most people at your age don't know what they want to do, 
as a career. In fact, some people still don't know when they get to what they want to do, even when they get to be my age. But this is where your counselor can help. There are a lot of different careers out there with great opportunities because of the skill gap. And here's just a, a potential list of things that you could do. If you're unsure, there are also lots of different careers that could be a great fit for you. And here is uh, a list of those. Now here's one that can help. I'd like to introduce you to the Vita Navis Super Strong Career Survey. Super Strong is a personality and interest survey that identifies careers and programs of study that will be rewarding and interesting to you. Super Strong is free, it's mobile friendly, it's self-administered, it's fast, about 10 minutes to complete, and the results are immediate. So, if you're interested in trying it out, you can go to vitanavis.com forward slash wildtech and try it out for yourself. It's really fun. Now, let's talk about one skill that you're going to need to develop, no matter which direction you go in after high school. You need to develop a professional attitude. So, exactly what is a professional attitude? How about I ask you a few questions, uh, and the first person who answers correctly uh, you have to raise your hand, of course, but if you answer correctly, you're going to receive one of these prizes that I have. So, a few facts to get you charged up. If you want to look professional, how many texts should you send on a job interview? A, one, B, two or three, or C, none. The correct answer is none. How long does a hiring manager spend looking at most resumes? A, 15 seconds, B, one minute, C, five minutes. The correct answer is 15 seconds. Number three, how long should a professional resume be? A, one page highlighting your work experience, education, and volunteer work. B, two pages going into detail about your work, experience, education, and volunteer work. Or C, five pages going into great detail about everything you've ever done. Well. A is the correct answer, one page, highlighting your experience and education and your volunteer work. And what does a professional email address look like? A, surferdude at gmail.com, B, softballrules at gmail.com, or C, mariahsmith at gmail.com. Well, the correct answer would be mariahsmith at gmail.com. That's what a professional email should look like. Number five, which social media sites do employers look at before hiring someone? A, Facebook and Twitter, B, Instagram and Tumblr, or C, all of the above? Correct answer is C, yes, all of the above. So don't post photos either that look like this. Number six, what makes you look like a professional? A, your hair is out of your face, you're clean shaven and are not wearing cologne or perfume. B, you're wearing lots of expensive jewelry, C, your hair is out of your face, you're clean shaven, and are wearing minimal cologne or perfume? The correct answer is A, hair out of your face, you're clean shaven, and you're not wearing cologne or perfume. Number seven, how do you make a professional impression when you walk into a job interview? A, you say hello and shake the interviewer's hand. B, you look nervous and wait for the interviewer to shake your hand. Or C, you smile, shake hands, and introduce yourself. The correct answer is C. Smile, shake hands, and introduce yourself. Number eight, in the job interview, what should you do? A, sit still and look around the room while you're talking. B, sit up straight and make eye contact. C, look enthusiastic with great eye contact and body language. The correct answer is C, look enthusiastic with great eye contact and body language. But what you don't want to do is this. What, what the most professional answer um, when you're asked, why should I hire you? A, you should hire me because I have experience. Here's an example. Also, I am a hard worker and I'm confident I'll be an asset. B, you should think about hiring me because I know I can do it and I'm really, really interested. 
See, I am the best candidate because I am smart, a fast learner, and know I can do the job. The correct answer is A. You should hire me because I have experience, and here's an example of that experience. Also, I'm a hard worker and confident that I'll be an asset. Number 10, what should you do after the interview? A, you should call and email every day asking about your salary and start date. B, you should send an email or handwritten note within 24 hours of the interview. Or C, sit tight and wait for the phone to ring. The correct answer is B, send an email or handwritten note within 24 hours of the interview. Now, WyoTech certainly is a school for students with overdrive. And WyoTech can help you become a highly sought after technician. I'm going to hand out some iPads now, and we're going to use those to collect some information. If you are interested in uh, one or more of the programs that you have seen, and then what we're going to do is have you to put your contact information there, uh, which will be name, address, phone number, and email, and your year of graduation. So if you take the time to do that for me, please, I'd appreciate it. Thanks. Did you know you could turn your passion for working on things, using modern technology, and solving problems with your hands and mind into a rewarding